Hello everybody and welcome back. You know that I needed my coffee before I got anything started. <laughs> so I thought I'd add that in there. <laughs> Today is the start of me trying to get some, you know, we're going to call it spring cleaning because it's going to be some areas that I just haven't done in a while. So I'm so glad that you joined me. And if you're new here, my name is Rachel and I am a stay at home homeschooling mom of three and I just share all of the things here. <laughs> Um, also, today is in collaboration with Steph Sherry, and she's over at Cleaning the Chaos, and she has some amazing cleaning inspiration over there. She also does organizing. She's a mom of four, so I know as a mom of three that she definitely stays busy. But I am going to link her channel in my description box that way you can find your way over there she also occasionally shares some grocery hauls and lifestyle content but she just has some amazing cleaning content so i know that i am definitely going to be needing her this week i'm dragging a bit especially since my husband is on vacation but for today, I'm just gonna try to get, you know, a lot of the areas that I just haven't done. Like right now, I'm vacuuming my couches. I know that it's probably been, gosh, I think a few months since I've done this. And surprisingly, I mean, they were, you know, bad, but I don't think they were as bad as they could have been for the time that it's been. <laughs> so, but I do realize, I think I need to like take all the cushions and everything off um, to get them all washed and stuff. So I might be doing that here pretty soon. But I'm glad that I was able to get this done. And then I got a few other things that I got to get done today. And, you know, I told my husband that I should have, like, recorded him for the day. <laughs> because while I was doing these areas that hadn't been touched, he was, like, going through papers and organizing stuff and cleaning the bathroom and the kitchen. I mean, he was just, like, on it. <laughs> so it would have been nice to have, like, two cameras going at once getting all of us. But he was not up for it. <laughs> So he's a little bit shy like me. It may not seem like I am, but I definitely am. So you think after, you know, a few months here now, I would be a little bit more used to it, but not, not so much. <laughs> so yeah, so now I'm just going to put these couches back together and move on to the next thing. So here I was putting together some baking soda. I did some of my like Dawn power spray in there and then I filled it with warm water. And I'm gonna be using this to clean all of my baseboards. The baseboards is something that I just, I feel like it needs to be cleaned like every few months. <laughs> I really do. I do not like clean baseboards or I'm sorry, dirty <laughs> baseboards. And I tell my husband, I think that's because growing up, I stayed at my Nana's a lot. And that was the one thing I always helped her with. She had long hallways in her house. And, you know, just because she couldn't get down there and do it herself, that was one thing I always helped her with. And so like growing up, that was just something that I've always continued to clean in, in my own house. I just feel like, you know, having them clean is just, it adds something, you know, <laughs> and I feel like they get dirty so easy. In a minute, you're going to see me clean the one that's over by the dishwasher. And gosh, I feel like maybe I just haven't never cleaned that one since we moved in or something because I just did not like how it was looking. Um, but yeah, so I just felt so much better once these were all done. And um, I don't know why something so small just can make such a big difference, you know, but it also gets rid of, you know, all the dust and all that. Ever since we moved into our mobile home, things get dusty a lot more here. I don't know if it's because of the ground vents 
or what it is, but I do find myself dusting a lot more than normal. I don't know if you guys just heard the birds or not, but there's some birds in this tree behind me. I am sitting outside while I am doing this voiceover, <laughs> enjoying my coffee. And there's some birds who, I don't know, maybe they're just not liking my company today. <laughs> So my entertainment center, I know I definitely keep up on dusting this and it was pretty bad this day. And you know, once I was done, I accidentally like used, well, I used the rag on the fingerprints that were on the bottom of my TV. And oh gosh, I had a freak out moment because it left some huge streaks. So I like turned my camera off. I ran and got like a regular towel, damped it a little bit. And it took me like several minutes to get those streaks off of my TV. I was so worried that I had ruined it, <laughs> so I had like a little freak out moment there. Um, yeah, but thankfully they all came off, it cleaned up good, and I definitely learned my lesson and will not be doing that again. But here you'll see me cleaning my microwave, and this has definitely been neglected. I have not cleaned this for a while and I am ashamed to say that <laughs> I don't know why um, so yes today I'm just giving it a good clean down and what I normally do is put a bowl of water in there for about two minutes two to three minutes enough to where it's like boiling before I start to clean it and it like loosens I think the steam from everything loosens everything up in there and just makes it a lot easier to get cleaned so I do that and then I washed off the you know the glass tray that goes in there and then I was all good I know today is a shorter video after all my editing and all that but it definitely took me a while to get it all done I just want to thank you so much for coming and supporting me today and cleaning along with me and again I hope that you go over and you check out Steph Sherry's channel at cleaning the chaos and show her some love and let her know that Rachel sent you over